Hello there folks, Nathan here. Hope you're all well and welcome to another review. It's certainly been a little while since I've done a review on anything. Um, well, food that is. Um, obviously my last review that I did was the Arnott's Tim Tam. That was the last food review. And if you go back before that, you may remember that homemade cider review that I did. Yes, I am going to try and start to do drink reviews. Um, however, not all of them can be alcoholic because of being in Ashwood and the no alcohol policy here. So I may or may not get that off the ground. I'm not too sure yet. But for now, we're back with another candy review. And obviously you can see, after Messenger's has decided to have a dinging spree, um, I will apologise in advance for that, because obviously we're filming on my Kindle, I can't edit, I can't cut, I can't, you know, I can't do any of that. So all my videos are a one take. So, unfortunately, we'll just have to make do with that. So, what are we looking at today? Well, apart from it being a chocolate bar, um, it is Cadbury. Always good, huh? Any Cadbury folks out there? Any fa Cadbury fans out there? I know I'm certainly one. And, well, how much more proof do you need that it's Cadbury? Because look at the name. Bourneville. Everyone knows that Cadbury World is in Bourneville. That's where the Cadbury brothers started their factory um, in Bourneville. And a little bit of background history for you. Um, Bourneville actually wasn't anything it wasn't a town it wasn't a village it was nothing um it was just a factory and the cadbury brothers inherited it started making their products there they named their factory bourneville and then they built houses swimming pools churches around the factory for the workers and to give them something to do obviously when they weren't working in the factory so that's how bourneville developed and obviously it was close to the canal and railway line, so products could be uh, brought in easy. So that's why uh, Cadbury's factory is now in Bourneville. That's how it all began. So I'm guessing that this is probably one of their earlier bars, um, because it's not milk chocolate, it's actually dark chocolate. Um, obviously, in every video, I'll, I'll get it out for you. And um, we'll have a look. I'll also try it and give you my opinion. So this is the front. So it's got this lovely red and black to it um, with Bourneville. Cadbury Bourneville written in gold lettering. Let's flip it around and have a look at the back. So there's all the little bit of information there um, for anyone who wants to attempt to read that. I know I can't. So there's a bit of information there, and then obviously you've got all your nutritional facts and your ingredients. Nothing on the side. Uh, oh, hang on. Yes, there is. But it's the wrong way up, I think. Just a minute. Let me have a look. Yeah. It says Bourneville there as well. And it also says Bourneville on this side. So... I think it's time to get it open, don't you? <coughs> Oops, sorry. I'm just going to have to lean, stand the Kindle up, so I can open it. Right, I don't think there's a right and wrong way about doing this, but I'm going to try and do, open it like a, a dairy milk, so we can use the wrapper as a plate. So. <laughs> Sorry, I thought there was a wasp or something on my screen. It's not. It's that red box up on the wall. Uh, right, this is not working out, so I'm just going to have to open it. So what I'll do, I'll just get it out of the packaging. I'll disperse of this. But don't worry, I'm going to eat it all. Okay, so let's have a look. There it is. So yes, it's not milk chocolate it's dark and apparently if um, anyone who claims it on Google is right 
Dark chocolate is supposed to be good for you, but I don't see how. Um, I think white chocolate is, is probably the most healthiest for you if you're going to eat chocolate because it's made with cocoa butter. Um, at, not actually cocoa itself. So I honestly think that, I think probably dark chocolate is more than likely the worst for you. So, anyway, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of four squares. So it's a decently sized bar. This is a, probably a sharing size bar. Um, but I buy these for myself, for the reviews, because they're nice and big, and we can have a proper look at them. So, first thing I'm probably going to do, have to do is to see um, what the consistency is like. So if I just try and break it in half, nice clean snap there, nice clean break, two equal parts, That's that broke in half quite well. Let's see if it breaks in half this way. It does, so very good consistency. Again, neatish breaks to them. I'm not going to handle them forever. So we'll have a look at these because I'm going to break this in two and I'm going to try it now. So first smell, it smells very, smells very nice. Um, if you've ever tried the Cadbury Bourneville drinking chocolate, um, that's what it reminds me of because I did try that once, the drinking chocolate version. So that's probably what it reminds me of. So let's have a close look. So it says Cadbury on all the squares. Pretty chunky pieces. The back's pretty pretty plain to be honest. So I'm gonna snap two squares off of this now. I'm gonna eat one and I'm gonna hold one against the lens. For you to study. So, this is my first taste of a Cadbury Bourneville bar. Here we go. You really have to chew. At least it's not melted, that's the good thing. So it's sweet. It's light, it's very light sweet there. Not very sweet and it's sort of not bitter. It's also got like a, well I suppose it is, it has got a slight bitter edge to it. Um, I've got chocolate on my finger now, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what I get for holding it up. It does have a slight bitter edge to it. Oh, I will admit. But it's not too bad. Let me just have this piece. And we can have a look at, at what we've got left. Oh, it's like Jenga. So yeah, it's, it's really not that bad. Um. I wouldn't recommend eating a full bar of this. In fact, I'm probably not. I'm probably going to go and share it. Um, I'll go and get some clean film. Wrap it up. Actually, I've got a saucer. Um, I've got a plastic party plate in <coughs> my safe um, that I saved from a party. Um, a nice gold one so I'll pop it on that plate after I finish the video and I'll go and share it out because I can imagine this being very sickly if you have too many pieces I've still got that bitterish aftertaste now in my mouth um, I'm looking at it thinking oh I want another piece but I'm not going to yet so what am I what's my opinion on it well it certainly makes a change. Um, if you fancy something different 
to a Cadbury Dairy Milk or you want to try something completely different. Maybe you've never had dark chocolate before. Um, I'd recommend you give it a try and see what you see what you think. I mean, I can't tell you, yes, do buy it, no, don't buy it. Um, you know, I, I'm going to leave that entirely up to you folks. Um, would I buy it again? Um, yes, I would, but I would rather use it maybe for cooking, rather for cooking, or to share. Um, what I mean by cooking, say if I was making fi um, muffins or something and I wanted maybe a chocolate filling, um, I'll definitely use it as a chocolate filling. I think this melted would be very nice um, in, in a cake or something, or maybe even in a pastry. You know, like one of them French pastries with the chocolate inside. Um, even them. So, that's my thoughts and opinion on it. Um, I'll definitely try it again. Um, I'll try one, I'll have one more piece for you, just to see if I can identify a certain flavour or taste. I'll eat the boat I'll eat both of them so I'll get a little bit more you know chocolate to experiment with. So I'll just see it a tiny bit more. Can't really detect a particular flavour, to be honest. To me, it tastes like a less sweeter version of a dairy milk with that bitter edge to it that dark chocolate seems to have. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know if they use less sugar. Um, it might just be the coke, more cocoa that they use to get to get the darker colour. I don't know how it works. Um, but certainly there is a tang to it. I just can't put my finger on exactly what. But yeah, it reminds me very similar of a dairy milk. So just imagine a dairy milk, but not milk chocolate, and that's pretty much it. So I've I think we can conclude it there. Um, I think I've done a f decent review. So, big shout out to anyone who's watching this who works for Cadbury's. You never know. Um, yeah, I think you've done a good job on this. I, I, I personally like it. Um, it's very nice. It's very different. And I'll certainly be buying it again. So it just leaves me to say thanks for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget now I'm back at Ashwood. Um, food reviews will start again um, very soon. I may or may not do the drinks review. I'm not too sure. Um, because as I established at the start of this review, uh, the drink reviews were meant to have been based on alcohol like wines, ciders, um, cheap champagne, that sort of stuff. That's what I wanted to review. But obviously with being an Ashwood, there's a no alcohol policy. Um, so I can't buy alcohol and consume it on campus. Um, I'd have to just do that maybe at my friend James's or at home if I ever got a moment. Yeah, you can probably tell my face is very red. Had another day at the airport yesterday and it was boiling. Tried my best to cover up, but it caught me. So, just clear that up. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent, so I'm going to end the video here. So thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you've never watched my channel before, or this is, will be the first review you see of mine, don't forget to like this video. Um, please, excuse me, please subscribe to my channel. I have lots more reviews. Uh, for both sweet and savoury products. Um, 
I say this in every video, but I'm going to say it again. If there's a product that you'd like me to try, um, please leave it in the comments. And if I can get my hands on it, I will by all means do a review on it for you. Um, so, it just leaves me to say thank you very much. And I shall bid you good day.